I don't want to deal with you just yet. There's the blades are going. <gasps> There's some radiators over there. Okay, real quick. If you could just quickly please drop down into my trap. There we go. Okay, we have successfully caught ourselves a screamer. G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in the brand new Alpha 17.1 update, the brand new one that only just came out, and I'm back in Alpha 17.1 to build something new, I mean I've built things before, I've built this thing, I've built the MMA fighting cage over there that hasn't quite loaded in, there it is, I've built ways to harvest XP, I mean, I've built a lot of lethal traps, like the blender and shit. I've built so much stuff in this freaking world. I've built a lot of things to, to insta-kill zombies and get no XP. I've built ways for you to, like, fight a horde and gain as much XP from it as possible. But I haven't built anything that is a purpose-built, like, infinite XP machine. So that is what I am here to do today. I think I have a way that you can, you know, you can harvest the, the XP, as much XP as you want, infinitely from the way the game is built. And you can just sit there all days, turn it on and off again, as you like and you can just have XP there for you whenever you like so that is my goal that is my plan but the first thing I need to do is build a couple of tests I will be using the swimming pool base I will be using this because it's it's, it's just the easiest it's already here the water slows down the zombies they're cruising up here getting shot with arrows as much as I like so that is going to be what I'm going to build it onto but I have to first make sure that the mechanism that I'm thinking my mechanism uh, is actually going to work the way I plan so I'm going to quickly build just like a little cage out here and just do a couple little experiments. So I just need to find out if a screamer zombie, because clearly, I mean, for anything infinite XP, you need infinite zombies. You know, like infinite zombies is via a screamer. So I need to know if a screamer can see me and scream at me through the iron bars. Sounds like she can. What, what's going to happen? Are you going to come up here? Are you going to go around to the clearly open side around the back and try and beat your way through there? It seems like that's the case. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That gives me some information that I wanted to use. Where's all your zombie friends that you're supposed to spawn when they come after me? Did you did you just not spawn any? Uh, you were supposed to. What a useless screaming. You're supposed to spawn a zombie horde to come and fight me, and instead you just didn't swarm to like, spawn anything. God, what a, what a useless screamer that was. I guess it doesn't really matter to me that that was apparently the loneliest screamer zombie in the world and she had no friends to come and call into the fight. Because that wasn't really what I was testing. I just wanted to make sure that it could see me through those iron bars. Because that's going to be the critical part of my idea. If the screamer zombie can't see me, then everything I'm trying to do is worth nothing. Well, that switch is just like hanging out of nowhere. Alright, that's, that's kind of helpful. Although... Well, I mean, it doesn't really help me at all because the wires are already gone. You know, let's just destroy the switch. Kind of a switch in the middle of a hole. We can put a switch on later somewhere else. Right, so I'm just going to get... Oh, actually... Oh, I need to, need to paint that block. What do I actually need to do here? I want to have... Actually, what? Okay, I've got I've got an idea. I've got a couple ideas that kind of stagger off each other. So I'm going to quickly do this. And then I'm going to have to build a little room just on the outside. Just to, just to make it nice and all comfortable. You can probably already guess where this is going. But as a general rule, I try not to say it out loud until it's pretty much almost done. Just going to build a cheeky half block gap at the front here. I mean, it's not, it's not particularly new. It's nothing special. We've done half blocks a thousand times before. It's the easy option. But this one particular part is not the impressive part or like the interesting part. That's just one part of a whole system I've got going on in here to make everything work as I hope it would. I'm also going to put the bars on the front side of this block just to give less kind of standing room at the back. I mean, if, if I'm doing this on like a horde night or something and something's in here running around, I don't want it to make that gap and stand here and start beating down the bars because I won't be looking for it. I will just be fighting all the zombies coming in through the trench. So I won't, I won't have time to turn around and make sure that my bait is you know, still in here being where it's supposed to be. Oh, man, I always got to paint stuff. I always forget to paint stuff. I wish I could just, like, say that everything I want to put down has this texture. Because, like, painting is important. I hate things looking like they don't belong. But, jeez, it takes a long time. This is most of what I do. I've put the back wall on because I think I've got enough room now to do what I want to do. But I am going to put this little little staircase at the back here. In fact, I've got more room than what I thought I was going to need. I thought I was going to need much more than that. So I put a little staircase at the back here so that when I trap the screamer in here, it's always got to loop around. It can always pathfind its way back up to me up here to fall back down the gap to continue the cycle over and over and over again. 
Wait, did I actually say what I was going to put in here? Oh, I have now. I'm going to trap a screamer inside this. It's kind of like a hamster. I'm going to trap a screamer inside the hamster cage. So it's going to constantly be running around, run up here, see me, scream, come try to eat me, fall down, and then repeat the process. And every time it sees me and screams, it will spawn new zombies. As long as the screamer is alive, it will continue to spawn new hordes coming to try and fuck your shit up. So that is the actual idea. I'm not sure if I said that out loud yet or if I was like, still keeping it close to my chest. But regardless, it's out there now, and I think it should work. This, I mean, this idea here should work. The only thing I need to do now is find a way to get a screamer in here and not a bunch of other zombies. So here's the basic idea. I'll try and get a screamer somewhere out here somewhere and lead them over to this bit. And over here, they run up to this, like, chute here. There'll be some ladders. They'll climb up. And then when they get to the top, I'm going to build, in fact, I can build it right now, just the tried and true uh, hatch drawbridge uh, option. I mean, I've built them a thousand... Oh, wait, that's, that's the wrong way. I want to build them. I want to open sideways to try and draw them in to make them fall to their death like the morons that they are. Just like that. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four, like there and there. So I can open them after I get across to the other side. I have to use myself as bait, which kind of sucks. But I get over here, scream a zombie falls down here, and boom, they are now in the cage. And they will forever be running around in circles trying to get me. And after they're in, I can come up here. Oh, shit. Come up here. Stand over here and lock the doors behind them. So that from then on, no further zombies can make their way into the hold. And I can just come over here, drop down onto the drawbridges, and in I go. And then I am ready to kill whatever the Screamer Zombie summons. This should work reasonably well, I hope. I don't know. I need to do the final touches, like building the ladder on the outside. And then it will almost be time for a test run. So if you're not familiar, Seven Days to Die has a system in it called Heat, where things like torches and forges and stuff all draw in... Uh, like it, it registers activity among the server and if there's enough of it it sends screamers as scouts to try and figure out what's going on so to try and draw as many scouts as I can to my screamer cage I'm going to put a whole bunch of torches out here just to raise that heat level I mean I could spawn the screamers however based on my last test over there where I spawned a screamer and she had no friends I think I might have to wait for a screamer to show up naturally so I've got a bunch of torches there we should hopefully get someone to come in. You can press, uh, you've got dev mode on, you can press F8 to see what the heat level's at. And the thing is, if it's above 50% heat, then it'll uh, start thinking about spawning a screamer. If it makes it to 100% heat, it will scroll a spawn a screamer. So the higher it is, the higher chances. At least I think that's the way it works. Happy to be corrected on that. Why is my door open over here? Uh, one of my drawbridges has been killed. Did someone kill a drawbridge? Oh, I can fix that later, whatever. A Jurassic Park door has been broken open. There's a T-Rex loose somewhere, but that is a problem for later, Josh. Current Josh has to sit here and wait to find a screamer when they show up. Oh, shit. Oh, we got a screamer. Okay, good. Here we go. Let's draw her attention. Over here, please, if you don't mind. Come over here. Yes, you come in, are you coming this way? Look, juicy human. Yep, oh, there we go. Look, she spawned a friend over there too. Okay, that's a good sign. I just need you, and only you, to come with me. Oh, shit, dogs. Okay, I'm going to take care of those ones first. Oh, dogs got in the blender. Okay, up we go. Ah, up the ladder. There we go. Oh, my God, it's so bright over here. Come on, Miss Screamer. Yep, you're still screaming. I hear you. Here we go. Look, look, I'm waiting for you right at the top. You can just come up the ladder. Are you beating on shit down there? What's going on? Oh, come on, get up here. Look, up the top of the ladder. Do I need to change this to be a ramp? Oh my god, they don't like ladders anymore. For goodness sake. After all my- Oh my god, there's so many. Okay, everyone calm down. Stop beating on my shit! I've bowed to the pressure. Oh, I've accidentally drawn a dick in shadows on the wall and made a ramp instead of ladders. I don't know why AI has such a problem with ladders now. They were specifically updated in A17 to work with ladders. Maybe 17.1 has broken their minds a little bit. Right, so if I stand up the top here, close all the doors so that it's all ready to go for a screamer. All right, I'm going to stand here and wait. Is that a... <gasps> hey, what up? <laughs> Look at that. There's already one coming. No sooner had I destroyed everything and rebuilt the next ramp, there is one coming in ready to go. I see you. Come on, make, make your way through the tunnel. You get... Uh, oh my god, it takes so long. This is why Feralism is so much better. So hurry up and get over here. God, you take eight years. Oh, there we go. She just saw me. Okay, is there, did she spawn any friends? Uh, yep, yeah, some friends over there. Some over there. I see some ferals. Okay, I'm going to take care of the ferals real quick. 
So I don't want to deal with you just yet. There's the blades are going. <gasps> There's some radiators over there. Okay, real quick. If you could just quickly please drop down into my trap. There we go. Okay, we have successfully caught ourselves a screamer. Open the door. And, cl yep, close that one there. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. <laughs> I accidentally fell into my own trap. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm a survivor ring man. Oh, shit. Okay, I've made it into my base. There is the screamer rolling around inside her cage. How you doing, love? You just cruising? Whoop. Yep, straight down. Okay, so she's going to continue to get me uh, all sorts of ex uh, experience. Wait. Who's beating on stuff? I hear beating. Who's beating? I need, I need to investigate this. I need to investigate. Everyone stop. Pause. Hammer time. Who's breaking shit? Are you breaking shit? No, you're fine in there. Where was all the breaking sounds come from? I know I heard it. Or was it just my imagination? What is going on? What? I definitely heard something going nuts. Ah, oh, it was you two. Okay. Well, let's just assume that I didn't let those guys get up to my gate. Uh, maybe I should have built like a drawbridge or something actually on the outside so I could like, you know, have a, a, an out of the fence to stop them getting into the doorway. Shut up! I know you're in here! God, treat your yapping! Okay, before I continue this, I need an actual weapon and not just god mode stuff. I've had enough of these ass hats coming up and destroying my doors on the other side. So I'm putting in just a basic hatch just like that. So at the top of the ramp, if they choose to come up this way, they'll just fall down there and hopefully make their way around to the other side. All right, because look how fucked up this door is. They've been making some serious problems for me. I have my bow. Is my, is, is my pet still in here? You're still cruising? Yeah, you're still in there just fine. All right, let's go back to this. Please spawn me some more Jeffries. Can you... Hello? Can you... There, there we go. Okay, I've got your attention. Scream. Scream. Scream, please. Nope, not gonna do it. Okay, well, whatever. Someone ought to be coming around here at some point, and I'm ready for them when they do. Here we go. I've given myself a bow. Of my, my treasure's still in there going around. I probably shouldn't call it treasure. That's a bit weird. But I'm safe as I like. They're all coming around the top. This is working perfectly. Yeah, I can sit in my bow all goddamn day, and she will just keep bringing in more and more XP for me as much as I like. I mean, it kind of sucks that like I'm doing a game stage like 300 uh, horde because it's like it's pretty tough to do with bows and stuff. But if you did this like early game, if you managed to get one of these working pretty early on, you could just you could level up so much in a day, like infinite experience as long as you've got ammo. Out, what, who, what, where the shit did you come from? You're like, how did you get up here? Okay, apparently you need to watch out for dogs. But other than that, you're pretty safe from everything else. Did I, did I remember to close the, the doors? I didn't close the doors. No wonder they're getting up here. Okay, everybody wait. Everybody wait. Stop. Stop. You stop. You stop. Everybody stop. I need to freaking close. Open the doors. I've ruined everything. No, wait. Shit. All right, let that be a lesson to everyone to remember that when you restart a server, you need to go and open all the doors again because otherwise they close when you when you log back in and they will come and punch you in the face. <laughs> I forgot to do it. My bad. I had a problem. I had to restart the game and holy shit, was that a bad decision? Well, look at them all. Look at all. I mean, this is some pretty serious horde coming in. This is like a worse horde than like Horde Knight. But if you did this early game when you're not like level 300 and fighting a bunch of radiators, you could just you could level up so much in one night. This is a great idea. All right, the bow's not really cutting it anymore. I mean, the design's perfect, but the, just the choice of weapon isn't really doing it. So maybe instead, I need to use something with a little more firepower. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's better. Yeah, okay. This this will work for me. I can just sit here and mow them all down as they come in. I mean, the bullets don't travel into the water, which lies on what Miss Bus has said, because, you know, you can't shoot, shoot into uh, water more than like six inches before the bullet just breaks apart. I was going to sit here with my saw while you were just sitting there just getting me more and more things to kill. This is perfect. I've added a little something, so when the night is over and you're done with all your arrows and all your bullets have run out, and you're like, you know what? It's been fun, old mate, but your screaming days are over. You can just turn on this. Turn that on. You fall down there. And you can't quite see, but you hear it. Yeah, there we go. Just casually just electrocute her until she dies. Because you know what? Sometimes I don't want to do my own dirty work. Sometimes I like to make this as painful and as annoying as possible. Are you dead? Can you die, please? There we go. She's dead. Did she spawn anyone else with that last scream? 
No, nope, I think we're done. So there you go. That is how you get infinite experience in Seven Days to Die. All you have to do is build an elaborate screamer trap. It's like a mouse trap, but for a screamer. And like put it on the back of an XP farm. You can sit here all day as long as you like. Turn that off before I electrocute myself. And just have infinite XP to like, do whatever you want with. So that is how you do that. But I'll have to come back and build some other stuff in Seven Days to Die in another episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like, make sure you like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. But I don't talk to you there first. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.